What's up, everybody? Welcome to American Patriot News. And today we have a video for you guys. And in this video, we have this uh, guy who was in South Dakota. He's an election integrity activist. And he's showing some of the vulnerabilities that this software, particular software, has when it comes to hacking and ability for people to get in and change what's going on with voting. Yeah, let's take a look. This is interesting. So here's this tweet. Barry Wernick tweets, Breaking news, Rick Weeble presents new evidence of vulnerabilities at yesterday's March 19th, 2024 Brookings County Commission meeting. Now it's public record. Is his life at risk? He seems to think so. Good morning, commissioners. Uh, my name is uh, Rick Weibel from the city of Elkton. Uh, I want to thank you for uh, this time. And I really appreciate that we uh, do the public uh, speaking at the beginning, because as soon as I'm done here, I have to leave. Uh, to go help out a uh, client. Uh, of course, you know why I'm here, which is about election integrity. Um, two things. Number one, it's unfortunate that we have kind of a different level of enforcement in uh, our county regarding uh, felony charges for voters that voted more than once. And I understand the situation. It's just unfortunate that one resulted in a conviction and the other one, the time ran out and was eventually dismissed. And so I will let the public ascertain view on that. The second part of this. Now, I don't know about you, Romeo, in my opinion, when it comes to election, election integrity and when it comes to election fraud, I think uh, when it comes to uh, statute of limitations, there should be no statute of limitations when it comes to punishing these people. I, I think we're going to have to go to that because the the amount of fraud is just, insurmountably large so yeah i i'll go with you on that i think it's also the amount of time that they use to actually investigate it it's almost like they do it on purpose they, they take so much time where the statute of limitations time period has elapsed it's like they're doing it on purpose this is i've recently been sent a critical piece of evidence from somewhere else in the country using the same voting system that our state is certified for. They wanted my expert analysis as to whether or not the system was uh, tampered with or secure. And I'll just tell you flat out that it does conform to the certificate that is published by the EAC. Four of our counties also have the same type of uh, hard drive. What I can show you immediately is that I was able to take a forensic copy of that hard drive and actually boot up the electionware system on a non-conforming laptop. That is a complete violation of the certificate, which required that the trusted platform module be enabled. It would be impossible normally for that hard drive to go off of a certified machine that is communicating with its chip to be able to boot up on here. And the other piece of evidence that I have of non-conformity is that you will notice that I have a thumb drive on the side of it. That thumb drive is a bit locker key that is used to basically allow the security of the laptop to boot up. That is another violation because what is supposed to happen is it should be on an official Delkin thumb drive that is supposed to be serialized and secure. So I've just given you two pieces of evidence. So what he's showing there is you can actually Put that program on something you're not supposed to be able to put that program on and then get into it, which is completely against the law when it comes to uh, election law. Yeah, and it's accepting thumb drives that aren't authorized. So anybody's thumb drive will do. That's fantastic. Yeah, so any kind of malware, software that could change an election could go on to that machine and change it. Yep, like that quick. I've also shown another piece of evidence in other states that have published in lawsuits because their auditors and attorney generals and state's attorneys did not do due diligence of publishing the manuals online in the court cases. Sheriff Stanek can confirm on page 10 of this manual, the default administrator user and password is publicly available on the internet. And I have that copy here and I showed Sheriff Stanek page 10 and he can confirm that the password is there and not redacted. The other manuals for the complete system, including the DS200, 450, and 850, 
all of those passwords are available online as default. We're also aware that when... So all passwords, when it comes to this actual program, is found on the internet. Yeah. Meaning everybody and anybody has access. Yeah. Fair and safe. The fairest and safest. Sea change was in charge of the elections during the last few years. The default password was election one. And it was universal across all the states that they were operating in. Thankfully, we're using ESNS directly, and they should be changing those passwords. My recommendation is that the password should be different for each of the machines. Don't use the same password across the spectrum so that you can help delay it. Wow. So they were using the same password across the state, across the country, if you use this program. Nationwide. So that's perfect. So you could be in anywhere in the world and access Vermont or Wisconsin or Michigan's election system. Perfect. Or all three. Oh, right. The other piece is that you're probably wondering if I can even log in to this laptop to actually get in. Yes, I can, and there it is going in right now. So I have been able to even circumvent their security and default the password to whatever I wanted it to be. And there is the electionware software. And yes, now I have the ability to decrypt the thumb drives of this county and any other county across the United States that's using electionware 6.1.1.1. So that we could view the cast vote records and ballot images. So the fact that now I've just shown you this piece of evidence, I understand that my life is at risk and that the United States does not want this to be known, that this software is available on the dark web, the manuals are publicly available out on the internet in multiple states, and our elections are not secure, and we should be requesting immediate change orders of ESNS to update the antivirus. They have not even updated the security patches of this laptop since 2019 or the antivirus since March 29th, 2019. The four counties that use this laptop in our state are 100% at risk. Also, the DS200s, 450s and 850s have no antivirus on them whatsoever. So if you get a new thumb drive from ESNS and plug it in, even this laptop is unaware of potentially the last five years of vulnerabilities that have hit the US. Thank you. You know, it's a complete cluster i can't even believe that our election systems have been funneled down to this low of a common denominator where anybody can get in anybody can cheat anybody and everybody um it, it's completely unacceptable and we have to ditch these systems for old school um paper ballots flat out now, for anybody watching that's actually for machines, you gotta you gotta explain to me why they haven't decided to upgrade the system since 2019. I'll tell you why. I'm gonna give you the answer. Mm -hmm. You don't have to think about it. The answer is because what happened in 2020, they got the results they wanted, and they hope to get the results they want in 2024 by keeping the same system and not changing it because they know they can actually affect it with whatever kind of virus or malware they want to change the votes in the election. And that's completely unacceptable. We don't do things like that in the United States of America. We are not a banana republic. It's time, share this video out, guys. It's time that everyone knew the absolute horseshit system these communists have put in place to rig our elections. All right, guys, this is the end of the video. We really appreciate it. Please hit that like button, comment, and share this out to everybody. And if you would, please turn the notifications bell on. Just so you know, when we make new content, we'll be live Monday morning. Have a wonderful rest of your day.